Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to prepare a slide for oil immersion observation. So we will be doing some slide preparation. Uh, I'm going to uh, extract some cheek cells from inside my mouth and we'll be staining them and we will be looking at them under the oil immersion objective. So what do you need? Of course you uh, need uh, a slide. We will be using Q-tips uh, to extract uh, the cells, some lens cleaning tissue uh, to remove uh, the oil. Uh, over here I've got some fountain pen ink, uh, not uh, calligraphy ink, just regular water-based blue fountain pen ink, immersion oil for the oil immersion objective, and a gas lighter. This is important uh, for um, heat fixing uh, the cells. I will show you how to do that. Um, not a candle, okay? It's got to be a gas lighter, otherwise we have the problem of soot forming on, on the slides. Um, and over here, these are cover glasses, but we are not going to use them. So we're going to put them away. This might be a surprise to some of you, but we will not need cover glasses. So we're going to take it away. And of course, last but not least, we need to have an oil immersion objective. And you know it's an oil immersion objective because over here it says oil. You cannot use uh, the process with the other objectives. That's really important. Only use uh, oil immersion objectives um, yeah, with uh, immersion oil. So, um, okay, so now let's, uh, let's have a look. Let's uh, start uh, preparing the slide. Okay, so let's uh, start uh, extracting some of the cells. Extracting sounds a little bit very hmm, high tech. It's not, you take a clean uh, Q-tip and you start scratching off uh, cells from the inside of your cheek like this. And that's it, okay? So uh, we've got now cells on, on the cotton here and uh, what you do next is, is you take a clean slide and uh, you rotate the Q-tip and you spread the cells on the slide, okay? And you can see that uh, there is already something on the slide and I'm, I like to use a large area here uh, by Spreading it like this, you also break uh, apart the cell clusters, and this uh, makes the observation process a little bit easier. Okay, just make sure it's it's very, yeah, very smooth. Okay, so and then what you do is is you have to wait. Um, you allow the slides to dry completely, um, simply uh, at room temp at at room temperature. Okay, you simply don't heat it up uh, or anything. Just let it dry uh, slowly at room temperature, and you'll be fine. So the slide has now dried and it looks very transparent, especially if you hold it against the dark background, you're barely able to see anything. And what we now need to do is, is we need to heat fix the cells to the slide. What does this mean? Um, by heat fixing, uh, we are baking the cells uh, to the glass slide, a little bit like uh, you can uh, stick a, an egg uh, in, in, to a frying pan. Okay? The proteins will denature and uh, they will stick to the glass and this uh, makes sure that the cells are not washed off uh, during the staining process which follows. So how do we heat fix it? Um, normally you would use a Bunsen burner, most people probably don't have a Bunsen burner at home um, or in the lab, so um, a gas lighter also works. And now what we do is, is uh, we uh, heat the slide from below, so with the cells turned away from the gas flame. Okay? Um, how long should we do that? Um, first of all, you should not overheat it, so it should be hot enough that you are still barely able to hold the glass slide in your hand like this. If you, if you burn yourself, if you get blisters, I mean, then it was definitely too hot, okay? Um, so usually um, a very short heating of a few seconds should be enough. Um, but you can also see, if you hold the slide against the light, you will see that uh, the cells will turn white, okay? So now it's transparent, but at, when the heat fixing process has completed, um, then the cells will uh, turn white and you will see a white layer on, on, the, on the surface of the slide. If it starts to smoke or even um, yeah, the smell a little bit, then of course you have overdone it, okay? And then the cells are broken and uh, you have to restart, okay? So let's do this now. Um, I'm going to light the gas flame, okay? And then I'm going to carefully heat it up from below. This was actually nothing, okay? So that is, uh, was definitely not, uh, not enough, okay? Yeah, this was already a little bit better, okay? And I can see, well, that was actually a slight mistake that I've made. Um, I've held, the, um, I've held the, the slide directly into the gas flame and now I can see that there was is some soot um, on the bottom. Okay, this will not happen if you use a, a Bunsen burner, 
Okay, so that is a little bit of a problem uh, because the suit might uh, disturb. Um, so you always uh, keep uh, keep a little distance. Okay. And I think uh, that is fine. Okay, so you allow it to uh, you allow it uh, to cool down again, um, and then we can start with the next uh, step. And you can now also see, well, you won't be able to see it in the video, uh, but I can see it if I hold this light against the light. It, um, there are some regions that are now a little bit white. Okay, so these are the cells that uh, have been baked uh, to the glass slide. Okay, so uh, let's allow this to cool. Um, the suit over here on this corner, which you do not see, is, is not very nice, but I think it should not disturb our observation. Okay, so it has now, basically it has now uh, cooled down. I'm going to take the suit off a little bit here. Okay, and now I can start uh, the staining process using the ink. I placed the slide now on, um, on a plate with uh, some tissue paper to protect the table beneath. Um, and now I'm going to start the staining process. I'm going to now simply um, apply some of the fountain pen ink um, on, on the slide and I'll wait a few minutes. Okay, so I might want to spread this a little bit here. The staining process usually does not take very long. Uh, usually um, two or three minutes uh, should be enough. Okay, um, I just uh, give it some time for the cells uh, to take up the ink. Okay, now I'm going to use tweezers here not in order not to get my fingers blue and I simply remove the excess ink. Uh, the cells are now stained, hopefully, um, and uh, they are not washed off in this, uh, by the ink because they've been heat fixed to the slide. And now I have uh, to wash the slide and I will use some clear water for that. So let's move this over here. I prepared some some clear water and I remove the excess ink. And you should be able to still see, you should be able to see now that some parts of the slide are uh, bluer than other parts. Now these are the cells that are stained. Always uh, make sure that you know which side is uh, the one with the cells okay so i always keep it up so and uh, that was pretty much it and now i need to wait another 10 minutes or so um, for the slide to be completely dried so I, I will, i'll wipe off the bottom side here a little bit but the top side has to be uh, mm, should not be scratched off of course and you can see i don't know if you can see it so well on the video uh, but there are some parts on the slide here that are blue or th uh, that are blue. Okay, so these are the cells that have been stained. Okay. So that's that's good. It ac actually is, is a sign that it uh, that it actually worked. I see it over here a little bit and over here on the side, and down here as well. Okay, now I've got to be patient again for a few minutes and I'm going to wait for the slides to be completely dry. So that is now the slide in, in close up and I think you should now be able to see a little bit better um, that over here on the side and over here the slide looks a little bit bluish and that is uh, where the cells are stained. On a totally different uh, note, uh, this is a so-called frosted slide. You see that the side over here is uh, whitish. Okay, that is uh, all for labeling so that you can use a pencil or something or a marker to, to label the slide. Just uh, a side information here, okay? Um, of course, you do not want to uh, use uh, this area over here for observing because you won't be able to see a lot, um, but uh, yeah, just uh, just to clarify why the slide is over here white, okay? So that is uh, pretty much it right now. I think uh, the slide is now dry and uh, we can now start our first uh, observations under the microscope. And uh, just for the sake of completion, I'd like to clarify something. So what you see over here are permanent slides. So it's a nice uh, slide box with 50 high quality permanent slides, a little bit expensive. I've got one over here as well, I've taken one out. And one thing that I just want to make clear, it's very important, you do not you do not use oil immersion on permanent slides. You don't do that, okay? The reason is, is because what we'll have to do is, is we later we have to put uh, oil on the slide and if you put immersion oil on permanent slides, it's gonna, you will never be able to clean it off again, okay? And the, the oil is going to spread around, it's going to contact the label over here, the label is gonna come off, you could, you'll have a mess, okay? And then uh, very soon you have to throw the slides away, okay? 
you never ever use oil immersion on permanent slides. I'm just uh, saying this for the sake of completion because I just want to avoid that this is ever going to happen in, in, in my laboratory, okay? Okay, I'm looking at the cells now at 100x um, and it looks like that not all of the cells have taken on the blue color very well. You see that some of the cells are a little bit more blue than the others. Uh-huh. This black long structure that seems to be a cotton fiber from the Q-tips. Okay, but um, yeah, we see a lot of we see a lot of cells, but not all of them have taken on the blue color very well. Uh, so uh, we're just gonna try to find one uh, which uh, seems to work better. Okay, let's have a closer look at this one over here. For example, the one that's centered centered right now. So I'm going to now increase the magnification. By the way, I'm looking at the whole thing without a cover glass. I just put on the dry slide directly under the microscope. So that's now uh, the 20x objective. Okay, you can see it's slightly blue. Okay, the cell. You can see the nucleus in the middle. I'm going up further to 400x. Okay, and you can see that there's a lot of dust uh, also in the background over here. Just focusing here a little bit right now. Okay, I'm going to restain the whole thing now. I'll give it another try. Just going to add some ink over here. On the right side, so. and um, I'm going to wait again a few, a few minutes, and I'm now going to reduce the washing time a little bit. I'm going to try to, a different washing step now. I'm just going to um, try to wash it with uh, clear water by dripping it on here. Okay, and I'll leave it as, as it is. Okay, I'll leave it as it is. And it's not completely washed, but that's fine. I'll just leave it like this and then we'll see if this works better. So, okay, again, a few minutes drying time. Okay, everything's now been set up. I'm now looking at uh, the slide with the 40X objective and now it's time to get serious and to start using the oil immersion objective. Uh, so what am I doing? Um, over here, I've got uh, the immersion oil. Um, everything is in focus, that's important, okay, um, the slide is centered um, and the object of interest is now right in the of middle. Of course I have to open the immersion oil and now um, I'm going to do the following, I'm going to rotate this like this and now I'm going to add a drop of immersion oil, now I have to hold it in a way that I'm not blocking the camera, okay, and now I'm adding a drop of immersion oil right in the middle over here and no bubbles, that's important, that's important. Um, there's a bubble, okay? Um, so let's be very careful over here. And here we go. Okay, there is a small bubble on here. Um, I think it doesn't matter. And now um, I'm rotating the oil immersion objective and only the oil immersion objective right into the immersion oil. Right into it. So it's going to be covered uh, in immersion oil. And then um, I can only use now the fine focus knob uh, to look at the specimen again. Okay, so let's um, have a look. I mean, you're probably asking yourself, is this it? I mean, nothing really spectacular. I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> okay, now you know I'm really almost never using the oil immersion objective because the 40x objective, uh, the 40x dry objective is just fine. It, yeah, so. Uh, it might be the oil immersion has a certain highly specific applications if you would like for example to look into the nucleus of dividing cells if you want to see the chromosomes and so on yeah then yes but generally um, from the amount of information that you get from the oil immersion objective it's not that much greater in most cases yeah but still I mean I, I kind of showed it to you because uh, for instructional purposes and uh, oil immersion is a technique that uh, everyone should have at least know know about okay and you probably can see that there is quite a lot of dust uh, in on the image so this is a really um, an alarm sign that I really have to clean the optics again I do not want to clean the optics uh, more often than, than necessary um, to uh, avoid scratching it but I think uh, this might now be a good uh, opportunity to those do so yeah right the nucleus right in the middle okay and you can also see very nicely that the staining uh, worked now and that the cell is significantly more blue than its surrounding. Yeah, and um, of course I cannot, if I move, of course I can move around. I shouldn't move around too much 
because sooner or later the oil film is going to not be there anymore okay because I'm just spreading around the oil um, so it's generally a good idea to just uh, leave uh, leave it um, at the place uh, where it is and yeah that's uh, pretty much it uh, concerning uh, the oil immersion and then you have to of course uh, rotate the oil immersion away objective away you clean it off using some tissue paper I'm going to show you that but there is one more thing that I have to show you and I'm going to do this right now okay okay there's one more thing that I want to show you okay so the oil immersion objective is now rotated into position and now I would like to exchange I would like to exchange the slide now uh, without having to go through the whole process again using the low power objective and centering everything and so on um, and focusing everything I want to have a um, quick way here and uh, then now I'm going to show you the following over here on the side we have the so-called the focus lock lever Okay, and it says here lock on here. And what I have to do is I have to lock it and pull it all the way down. Okay, I have to pull it all the way down. And, and then the stage is locked into position. And now what I can do is, is I can now use the course focus knob. I can lower the stage using the course focus knob. I can exchange uh, the slide with uh, another, uh, with a new slide which already contains the dro uh, drop of oil. And then I can use the course focus knob and rotate all the way up and the image will be in focus again okay because the focus lock lever uh, remembers the position of the stage so for routine microscopy this is a very useful um, this is a very useful feature okay it will remember the it will remember the position of the stage and uh, I can quickly rotate it down I can rotate it up again there is no danger now for the um, objective of crashing into the slide because the position of the stage has been uh, remembered Okay, um, so that is pretty much it. Um, that uh, it's all I wanted to show you right now. Um, the few th new thing, the new thing probably is, is that in oil immersion you um, do not need a cover glass. Yeah, but there is still one more last thing that I have to talk about. Is we have to clean it off here, right? The oil. So how are we gonna do that? Okay, so that's the last thing then. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to clean off uh, the oil from the oil immersion objective. We use uh, lens cleaning tissue paper. I've got some over here. Um, how do you open it? <laughs> I have not used this for a very long time. <laughs> and uh, over here, uh, this is uh, this is a lens cleaning tissue paper. You, of course, you rotate the stage down. You remove the slide, and now, without applying any pressure, you simply carefully wipe off the oil. Not a lot of pressure here. Not a lot of pressure. Yeah, that is really important. Otherwise, you end up scratching. Otherwise, you end up scratching the uh, the front lens. Um, generally, there is no need to use any organic solvents. Um, that is not because uh, sooner or later you're going to be reusing uh, the objective anyway. So there will be new oil, oil on the objective anyway. Now, um, another thing is uh, there are two types of immersion oils. They are so-called synthetic ones, and they are natural um, they immersion oils. Completely oil. clear. Um, the synthetic ones do, do, do not contain, um, do not uh, solidify over time. So what this means is, is that uh, they will stay liquid, but the natural ones, because they contain natural compounds, which may evaporate over time, they might turn solid over time. So my recommendation is, is that you use always synthetic immersion oils because uh, they uh, will not become hard um, if you do not use, uh, if you don't, if you don't use it. Now the thing is the following. Um, there is still a little bit of oil on here, a small, a thin layer of oil, and this one will collect dust, okay? So that is uh, the thing that it will become dirty uh, because the dust will stick to it. And then, of course, it is not good if you um, use uh, tissue paper um, to clean it off uh, because you're going, to, uh, scratch, uh, you're going to scratch the surface. In this case, I would recommend that you um, use, again, some um, oil and you immerse it into the oil so that the dust is kind of washed away using the immersion oil. So that is that's it. Okay. Um, I wish you I wish you a nice day.